Hello, today I'm going to give a movie review, or actually a series review, but it's like a bunch of micro movies, about All of Us Are Dead. I'm not going to give away any of the plot or spoilers. I want to talk to you about why you should watch this from episode 1 right to episode 12. It is full of action. It has a plethora of, you know, micro stories in that you've got these uh, different people falling in love. And it's not just a regular zombie flick where it's just gore and violence. This is a well thought out, well created, well produced. Um, the special effects are fantastic. That's all I can say. And I do believe that um, it is not all CGI. I think some of this is reminiscence of the brilliance of Tom Savini. George A. Romero might not like the running zombies or the modern day zombies, but the way the zombies are portrayed in this, very similar to that of Train in Busan, they're powerful, they're energetic, and the pace that they create through their action and their way of attacking people, it, it, it keeps you on the edge of your seat. This is pretty much one of the first zombie series or movies that kept me on the edge of my seat for quite a while. So I want to tell you right now, the viewers that have Netflix, this is a go-to series if you love zombie genre. It has elements of Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, and it's all ensconced in one. And I think that you will be very, very pleased with the acting, the directing, the plot, and every iota of this series. I cannot rave on enough about it. Out of five stars, I'll give it 10, 15, or 20. That's how good this is. So please, at your convenience, take a good look at this series. All of us are dead. And thank you for listening. This is Dark Goth October, and I will see you all soon.